The Verde Island Passage, which separates the Filipino islands of Luzon and Mindoro, is a hugely important haven of marine biodiversity. The Verde Island Passage, or as we call it, the Amazon of the Oceans, has over 300 coral species and over 1,700 fish species that can be found in the area, which means 60% of the world's fish species can be found in this area and it is one of the most important biodiversity in the world. And all of these are connected to all of, all of the oceans and we have to protect it. But it is under threat from the fossil fuel industry, say activists, who argue that the eight gas-powered plants and eight liquid gas import stations currently under construction in the region will heavily impact sea life. Gas constructions affect erosion of the land, which also affects corals, which also affects the oceans. When gas power plants open up or they start operating, the waters they release are heated and uh, changes the water temperature in the area, which negatively impact the corals in the area. Angelica says it's not just an environmental disaster, but a social one as well. The VIP, so rich in life, has sustained coastal communities for as long as anyone can remember. The people of the Philippines or the Philippines rely on the oceans as part of our lives. Um, a lot of Filipinos are living near the, near the shore and a lot of the Filipinos are fisher folks and rely on the fishing as livelihoods. It is uh, our life. It is, uh, we have no uh, higher education uh, acquired. So day by day, night by night, I, we go fishing and Pissing uh, are declining, continuously declining. The Philippines is developing quickly and it's been argued that these fossil fuel projects are necessary to keep pace with the energy demands of a dynamic population. The people saying that usually are people who are retiring in the next 10 years. I personally, I will live on this planet for another 60 years probably. And that means it's already getting hotter here. We're breaking heat records every month. And it's only going to get worse from here. And I know that everybody needs access to electricity, but we need to find out, find a way to manage the renewable build out in the next 10 years so that we can get out of fossil fuels as fast as we have to. There's good news here, though, argues Angelica. So actually, um, the Philippines has a potential of 1,200 gigawatts of renewable energy. And there's actually a recent study that we have enough um, cost-effective renewable energy that can um, meet the needs of our energy requirements. Um, that only means that we need to phase out coal by 2035 and gas by 2040, and that means we should only be using renewable energy in the Philippines. If, if, if that happens, sir, eh? well, it is a, a, a happy world for us. European and the Filipinos, when we get together, we can enjoy a very clean environment, a very happy, uh, uh, a happy life.